Here we're going to show you how to get started with Expression Web and e-commerce templates PHP version, although the ASP setup is pretty similar. Once you downloaded the zip files from us after purchase, double click on it and extract the files to location on your hard drive. This is where you'll be working from in Expression Web. Once we've extracted, open up that folder and check they're all there. The images folder contains all the main graphics for the website. The prod images is the product images, the templates where you make global changes, and the VS Admin folder, which contains all the admin files and folders. Now back into Expression Web, go to File, Open Site, and browse to where you've just extracted that zip file to. Open that up, and you'll see a list of files and folders. Now we'll go into the Templates folder, because the DWT file is going to be the file where we make the global changes. It's important here to go into Site, Site Settings, and check the box Manage the website using hidden metadata files. The reason for this is it allows all the files to be updated from the DWT file and also adds the extra files or folders required by an Expression Web site. So back into the DWT file, let's make a small change here just to make sure that the files are updated. So click on Save and we see that we're prompted to update the 15 files attached to project.dwt. Let's just double check and you can see they're all updated, 15 of 15. Now let's have a look at some other files on the site. So open up the About page, for example, and you'll see in Design View that the install region there in the center is in white, and the grayed out section is that which is governed by the DWT file. So you can make page by page changes here in the editable region. Onto the cart page, again there you can see the cart include line. You won't see the contents of the shopping cart because it requires a database connection. The createDB.php file is the file that you run in your browser once you've set the database connection, so there's nothing to edit there. And here's the CSS file with all the classes to make changes to the CSS, to the design, and some of the layout options for the store. In the VS Admin folder, there's only two files that you really want to edit here. The dbconopen file, this contains the database connection information. So once you've set up your database through the hosting control panel, you enter the values here for username, password, database name, and the DB host, which is usually local host, but check that is the case. The other file here is includes.php, which includes a lot of the tweaks, things like the product layout, whether you want to use email, a friend feature, etc. All those are listed on our site, and it's just a question of copy and pasting the ones in that you want to use. So back to the DWT file, and you can start making design changes to your store. 